Um, how is it going every day? So the night, maybe the morrow, I don't know, might trail into tomorrow this video. I'm going to be finally looking at the Escort again. So it has been sitting here since end of last year, probably three, four, five, maybe four or five months it's been sitting in the, in the garage, just totally untouched, just uh, we came back for the last race of the year and the car was absolutely faultless, so literally just rolled it off the trailer and into this hole in the garage, and it's just been lying there since, since, since then. Um, so I started work on it, yes, two days ago. I the only thing that happened at the last race was the oil breather that I made. Um, had a leak in it because I made it. Um, so I've taken that off and fixed it. So it's sitting up in the other garage now. Um, but apart from that, everything else with the car was absolutely faultless. So I'll be putting that back on. But what I'm going to do now, just because it has been sitting, and it's obviously we're going to be starting a fresh year of racing with with a new club. No racing with SMRC anymore because. They're just useless at running the races, so and awards and stuff, just useless. But we're not start. I'm not going to get into it. But uh, long story short, we're racing with KMSC, I think it's called. Okay, anyway, SLS is a vendor for Scotland knows it. Uh, we're not actually doing SLS. We approached SLS as sports and saloons and asked if they'd be interested in starting a a race. Um, like Sports and Sloan's race with their SLS weekend and it's, everything seems to have went ahead so that's what we're going to be doing this year. Um, so I'm just going to be quickly jacking the back of the car up, checking for any wheel bearing play or anything like that and also just checking the brake pads and stuff and then doing the same at the front and I'll just leave the front jacked up so I can drop the oil out it and put some fresh oil on it, fresh filter on it and it will probably need brake pads on the front as well. Um, I'm sure I've done two races on them now, so it'll probably be needing new ones. As you can see, it has actually just became an ornament in here. It's just buried. And as I was saying, washing it, it's literally still covered from not kill, just in dirt. So, yeah. So, this is obviously at the rear, so I quickly just checked up and I checked for play and stuff there. And whipped the wheels off, checked the pad. Pads are still good. But what I have noticed is, I don't know if you guys see it in the video, but I have a cracked rotor. Right, um, I would usually probably not be too fussed about running it, but there's also another crack in the bottom there. <laughs> uh, this one's pretty much the full length of the pad, so depends if I can get new rotors, because I might try and get out for a track day soon. I might just drill the cracks, um, which is very ghetto, but what you can do is see if you drill a hole at the end of the crack, it'll not spread any further, just until I get a set. Um, Unless Alistair's got a set handy. So I need to double check with him. But I uh, might just leave the back end up in the air at the minute and then jack the front up and check the front as well. So I've got the front wheels off, checked everything for play, everything feels fine. And the rotors, and actually the pads are really good in the front as well. You can't even see the writing on the calipers. I just wiped some of the dirt off it there, but they're um, very, very brake dusty. Um, as for the engine everything, so I'm just going to leave it the exact way it is, just got my breather tank to go back in here. Um, that's obviously just the lines are disconnected off it. It had a wee leak just down at the bottom corner that we realised at the last race. So so this is actually the next day, I think you won't be able to tell that, but this is actually the next day. So I've just grabbed my breather to put back on, so what I repaired was, I was having a wee leak up here, so I just put a wee patch on that, and I've just put a new bottom corner on it so it's just leaking through the corner so this is ready to just get put back in and then it's just really to clean it and Alistair thinks he's got a rear disc as well um, so I hopefully that's that so that's obviously looking quite promising if he's got one of them uh, Amber's on her way up the now hopefully to clean it and that's it the only thing I forgot to do today and I'll probably maybe ruin a wee bit of this because I might be able to run it because I forgot to order oil. Um, sorry.
So I just need to tighten up my jubilees, but it's literally as simple as that to go in. Um, it's kind of neat, kind of out the way. Um, basically, I just got my rocker cover breather going into the top. Um, the breather for instead of having a kidney box, I've got the WRC one on the side. So it comes round and up into the top here. Um, I just got this one bleeding off into a catch can on the side, and then there's another one down the bottom there that returns to sump. So basically, everything that breathes out into there when I turn it off should just all return back to the sump, which is nice, unless it fills that and then and turn goes out into the catch can, but I kind of see that happening. So anyway, that's nice. Another thing I've just noticed is I'm needing a water pump belt. Great. So I need to get my them ordered, but that's not the end of the world. So I'm just going to go ahead and tighten these up and wait on Amber coming to clean it. So Amber's finally here. Don't look so angry. Um, Amber's finally here, so she's just cleaning some of the glass nut at the minute. I'm going to attempt to clean these brake calipers. So I've never cleaned them since I've put them on and they're just minging. So I'm going to clean them the new and I'm also volu volunteering myself to clean them because it's probably an easy thing to clean and I hate cleaning cars. So I'm just going to do that tonight. Look, my brakes are mint. My amber's currently cleaning so I'll try to explain how dirty it was all day so you can see she's cleaned the top of the wing and you can see just the colour of the difference. So, might be here a while doing this, but you can actually see it in the bonnet there. So yeah, might be a while. So that's it, cleaned, it does, it cleans up well, definitely cleans up well, I'm just spent a wee bit of time just getting it nice, um, I'm not going to be able to get in to put my sticker on because it goes in the rear and I doubt I'll be able to get it straight where it's sitting, um, but look at the brakes, they're just so clean because I've done them, um, so i happy with that, obviously I'm not going to be able to Start it. I was quite sure he's got sticker I got for the back of it. And the other thing that Amber bought is sitting up here. Amber bought a GoPro 8, so they like the brand new GoPro, which obviously we had a lot of issues last year with footage for in the races and stuff. So Amber's bought us a GoPro. I'm saying us. She bought herself a GoPro, and I kind of volunteered it to get used in here. But aye. So I'll quickly show you the sticker we've got, and then probably just end the video out there. So I got a I want to go fast sticker. But, um, it will just sit on the rear wing and that kind of area. So aye, that's going to be my probably only sticker this year. Um, unless anyone's about to sponsor me, that would be nice. Um, so aye. I don't think that's uh, probably that's going to do us for tonight. Obviously we're away tomorrow, so that's um, as far as we're going to get. But it's definitely a good start and we'll be doing, hopefully a track down the next couple of weeks just to get a wee shake down and make sure everything's working on it how it should. Um, and as I say, I'll be changing out the rear disc and then changing out the oil, putting the sticker on it and that should be us ready to go for a track down. Make sure everything's alright before the race season starts back again. But I hope you've enjoyed the video, I hope you've enjoyed seeing the car again because it has been a good few months since it's been on here. Um, and thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to see any other videos. Thanks.